Because knowledge doesn't include the emotions, the problems such as hate or prejudice can never be solved with just having more head knowledge. God doesn't play mind games with us. He wants to give us that renewed mind. Don't play mind games with me. Have you ever heard of that? Well, the good news is God doesn't want to play mind games with us. He says he wants to renew our mind. In Romans, it says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. Many people think that our mind is our enemy. It is not. When we become born again, we don't lose our mind, but God wants us to have a renewed mind. He created us to have a mind and he created us to have this God breath. The Bible says he breathed in us this breath of life. And it's that breath of life that gives us the understanding of God. It's what gives us our God consciousness and our self-consciousness. When he created Adam and Eve, this is what he created them for with a mandate, be fruitful, multiply, and fill up the earth. He also gave them a choice in the garden of what tree to eat from. He said, you can enjoy all the trees of the garden, but from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. For in the day you eat of it, you shall surely die. Well, we know what happened. They made the wrong choice. And because of that, they were put out of the garden. And many people think that this was God punishing them, but it really wasn't. What it was is this was a consequence for a choice that they had made. We have to learn not to fight God's plan. Like Adam and Eve, they wanted control and they tried to take control. That's not what God says. He says, go along with my plan. I know what's best. He wants us to trust him. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Everything begins and ends with trusting in him. Adam and Eve didn't do this. They didn't trust in God. And we know that a mind without God, what happens to that? That leads to all kinds of evil. Listen to this Bible verse. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk in the futility of their mind, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart who being past feeling have given themselves over to lewdness to work all uncleanness with greediness. Knowledge without God leads to death and destruction. Increased knowledge doesn't deal with our emotions at all, and that's the problem with it. Think about it. Over the last many decades, our technology, our knowledge has grown and grown and grown. Unfortunately, this isn't the answer to the, many of the world's problems. Because knowledge doesn't include the emotions, the problems such as hate or prejudice can never be solved with just having more head knowledge. The Bible says that our light needs to shine and reflect back to a dark world. The Bible says, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. It gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Information isn't what we need, but it's inspiration. We need light to flood our minds that the light will heal and cleanse all the dark places of our thinking and our reasoning. This new man comes from this renewed mind. And in that new mind, we'll be able to walk in the spirit. That's what God's goal is for us, is to walk in his spirit. A lot of times people feel that getting the Holy Spirit or being filled with the Holy Spirit is all about speaking in tongues. But the reason God gives us those tongues to supersede our mind so we can pray spirit to spirit isn't just so we can have the tongues, but it's to walk in the spirit. The spirit of the mind and the heart. 
God wants to develop what I'm calling our HQ. What? <laughs> well, you know, IQ, it measures your intelligence. EQ measures your emotional intelligence. HQ measures the heart. Because we know that the Bible teaches us that the true source of knowledge comes from our heart. In Proverbs 2, it says, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. And also, the Proverbs tell us, a fool has no delight in understanding, but in expressing his own heart. So you can see how important the heart is in understanding. God doesn't play mind games with us. He wants to give us that renewed mind. A new heart and a new spirit is the key to discovering favor with God so we can walk in his path and truth and influence those around us.